Hi, my name is Julie and I am the teen librarian at the Central Branch Library. So I'm sure you've all heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's kind of a misnomer in that it's not a patch of garbage, it's more like a it's more like a soup of trash and garbage, mostly plastics from basically things that we use every day. I'm sure you encounter plastic when you cook a meal that comes with your food packaging, your water bottle is plastic, your safety helmet for your bike is plastic, seat belts have plastic on them. All of these things are made from plastic. So and most plastics today is, are made from fo fossil fuels. So they don't, they will break down, but they break down into microplastics. And microplastics quite often do end up in our ocean. They can be swallowed by fish and birds and other sea life, and then we in turn eat some of that sea life. So there are efforts underway to clean up that Great Pacific garbage patch and all the trash in our oceans. But if we don't find a way to not contribute to it, we won't be able to keep up. So in an effort to find another alternative to plastic, because we don't necessarily want to give up some of the benefits, such as like, you know, the syringes, when you go to the doctor and you get a shot that's made from plastic, we don't want to give up those safety benefits that come with plastic, we're trying to find a different type of plastic, one that will biodegrade and not harm the environment. So today we're gonna experiment with a gelatin-based bioplastic. So let's get started. Okay. All right, if you picked up the kit from the Central Branch Library, you're gonna have inside your Ziploc plastic bag, you're gonna have a container, just kind of an old container from the lid that will you or a lid of a container that we'll use for a mold. You'll have two pipettes. One of them will have food coloring in it. The other one has glycerin in it. A, you're gonna use this as a stir stick, just a simple popsicle stick. A container with some gelatin. Another container, it may look empty, but there is some dish soap in there. A bowl, a piece of parchment, and a piece of heavy duty aluminum foil. All right, first thing you wanna do is take your heavy duty aluminum foil. You can cut this into smaller pieces. You can use an object, like a three dimensional object like this to mold it around. And that's what I've done here. So one of the things you wanna be careful of is that there are no holes. Cause this is going to hold the liquid that we're gonna put in for our plastic and it needs to set and it needs to not leak. So I actually took an old cookie cutter and just molded, this one was a butterfly, we'll see if it comes out like a butterfly, this one was a heart, and we'll see how good it comes out. G give yourself a good lip on it, at least a half an inch. You know, I did more than a half an inch, did more than an inch here, and that should be good enough. All right, next thing you wanna do is use that parchment to protect your surface, grab a paper towel and have it handy, and then Grab your molds and your, this is gonna be basically another mold for anything left over that doesn't, that you don't need in there because you can cut it on here. So the first thing you wanna do is to line these molds with your dish soap. So when we make the plastic and we set it in there and let it set, it will pull away easily from this on its own. It will not pull away from these. And if you're using some other mold like silicone, you shouldn't need dish soap, um, but anything like a candy mold, a hard mold, you may wanna line it with some dish soap. If you have Pam or cooking oil, that will work too. Pam, you can just spray it in there. I'm just gonna stick my finger in here and I'm gonna line this mold really good. Get in all those little crevices Otherwise the foil will stick. So make, it, make sure you get it up the wall of your mold as well. All right, so to mix this up, take your unflavored gelatin, pour it in the bowl. And so this is a two ounce cup. Two ounces is a quarter cup of water. So we're gonna fill this up all the way. Go ahead, dump that in. 
we need five drops of your glycerin. So there's going to be a piece of hot glue. And watch the food coloring because it can get everywhere. Pop that little bit of hot glue off the top. Or you can cut it with scissors if you'd like. And then you're going to flip this upside down and drop four, five drops. All right. Put that to the side. And then grab your food coloring. So we got green today. And again, be careful. If you get it on your hands, it will stay on for the rest of the day, but that's okay. You just have green fingers. You really only need one drop. Again, that's why you have your paper towels nice and handy. Grab your stir stick. Stir it real good. So you're going to set your stir stick aside. You'll have your molds ready and you go to the microwave. All stirred up, you're going to go to your microwave. You're going to pop it in here and it's going to be less than a minute. Once it starts to froth, you want to pull it out. So I'm only going to use a 30 second button and I'm going to stand on the stool and watch it. So if, you, if your microwave is above your stove like this one is, make sure you stand on something sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Right. It only took 15 seconds. It got nice and frothy. If you can't tell, you can stop and start it again. So you're going to give this a quick stir again. So here's the thing. If you want a super clear plastic, you can use a spoon and skim the froth off the top. If you skim it off the top, do not throw it in your sink. Put it on some paper towels and then throw it away. You see how, ooh, it's going to look nice and clear underneath that. Okay. So come over to your molds. I'm going to use this one first. You want to make them about a quarter inch thick. So just estimate a little bit. And you're going to just be real careful and pour it into your mold. I can't scrape some of this off. Our heart will be a little clearer. So whatever you do, make sure you don't pour any of this down your drain. It will turn to plastic. You'll end up with a with a drain clog. So make sure you just Put it in something like this, let it dry a little bit, and then throw it away. Or on some paper towels. You've scraped all the bubbles you want to get off. And this is optional. You do not have to scrape the bubbles off. This one is going to be just for you to play with anyway. So you can leave some of the bubbles on and see what it comes out like. Because they make a cool pattern in your plastic. You're going to let it sit for about 45 minutes to about an hour. So go set a timer somewhere, go read a book. Do some of your summer reading and then we'll come back in about 45 minutes. Okay, so about 45 minutes later after it's been sitting, I'm going to leave these go just a little bit longer, see if they solidify a little more, um, the ones in the foil. So the longer you let these sit, the longer they're going to harden. And as you can see this, the one that we put in the lid, it's not solid because I can bend it. But the longer I let it sit, the harder it gets. So you want to cut it now into the shape that you want. I have a cookie cutter here and I have a butter knife. Either of those will, will work. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do this star around our bubbles there. Get a nice clear piece. I'm going to press it in. I'm not going to move it a little bit. And then I'm going to peel it out. I actually need the knife to get it up. It's a little stretchy too. So you can cut whatever shape you want. 
And as you let it, you can play with it now, or if you let it sit longer, it's going to harden a bit more. You can watch it over a day or two and see how hard it gets. It's a little sticky. Pulled the heart out of our mold. And it came out nice. You can see the little, it looks like a little crackled heart from the foil. So this might lead, the ones in the mold might need to sit a little longer than 45 minutes, leave them for an hour. If you go a little over an hour, that's fine. If you go to a day, that might be an issue. So we're gonna try the butterfly now. So I'm gonna go real easy. I'm gonna start on this side, because I can see. I'm worried that I might not have gotten enough soap in here to get it to pull away. There you go, you can see it pull away. There we go. So I got a little butterfly too. Yeah, so if you would like to cut some more off of here, you can, or you can pull it up, play with it, leave it in different positions over a crumpled up piece of foil if you wanna see if, it, if you can kind of mold it into kind of a, a bowl kind of thing. Play with it, watch it over the next couple of days. It's gonna slowly start to harden and it'll feel like hard plastic. So check it tomorrow and then check it the next day. It takes about three days to fully harden. So check it every day for about three days.